Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Sierra. And I'm Maggie. And, and we're from the Chainastics too. Welcome to TC Tuesday. For today's video, we are going to be showing you guys four different hairstyles that you can wear at meets. Since it is meet season for most of you guys, it should be pretty helpful. Also, I'll be doing the hair today on Maggie and Sierra, and um, you guys can like customize these to like do buns or like braids or like ponytails, whatever you guys want, so that it works best for you, or you can add scrunchies, like all that stuff for it, like whatever you want to wear to a meet. So let's go ahead and get started. For the first hairstyle, we're just going to put your hair in a ponytail. This is going to be a bun, and it's going to be kind of a longer process that should probably be done by someone else unless you're really good at doing your own hair. And although it takes a little bit longer, it's not very complicated, so I think that most people should be able to do this. You're going to want a whole bunch of different elastics like I'm using here, and you're going to want to put them about like an inch away from like the original ponytail, and you're going to want to divide your ponytail into about six to eight sections and just do the same thing and put them all in their own individual ponytails. Alright, so as you can see here, I finished putting all of Sierra's hair into different ponytails. I ended up with eight because she has really thick hair. If you have thinner hair, you might end up with less, but I would recommend doing even an even amount of these. And then all you're going to do, it's kind of hard to see here, but you're going to split, um, take two that are together and split each of them in half, and then you're going to put another elastic in there, and like, you're going to do that like to all of them so that they're all connected. And I only ended up doing like the first elastic row and then another elastic row, but I've seen people do more than that, so if you want to do like a third row, then you can also end up doing that. When I finished going all the way around the second time, this is what Sierra's hair looked like. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. It looks kind of like a spider web and it kind of like stands up on its own. And all you're going to want to do, is kind of show it pushing down here, that's kind of how the bun's going to end up looking. But it's kind of easier to finish pinning all the hair in place because you're just going to wrap it around and then bobby pin it. It's easier to do it if you keep it kind of like sticking up like how it was in the first place. And just go around with all of them individually and you're going to bobby pin them in place. off the hairstyle we just added a scrunchie right around the bun to help dress it up a little bit and make it look more like you know you're at a meet and in my opinion this bun looks really cool and intricate and a lot of people are going to wonder how you did it. The next hairstyle that we are going to be showing you is going to be kind of a waterfall braid headband so I started off by putting the rest of Maggie's hair on a ponytail and kind of sectioned out the first part of her hair and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start braiding and, like at the end by her ear, it doesn't really matter what side you start from. You're going to divide it into three sections and then you're going to start braiding a little bit of that. If you know how to do a waterfall braid, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. All you need to do is start braiding a little bit normally just to get it going and then bring the section in front of the braid that's going to be pulled back. You're going to want to join hair in from the front, all the hair that's hanging down by Maggie's face. I'm adding that in when I bring it over to the other side and then I'm splitting it kind of in half which you'll kind of see me do here and then I'm going to leave it off because that's going to be the waterfall part and I'm going to kind of leave that hanging there until I'm done towards the end so every time I bring a section from the front to the back I'm going to add in hair and then I'm going to split it in half like I'm doing here that's a better shot and then I'm going to just like leave it hanging or you can have the person hold it if you're doing someone's hair and I'm just going to do that the entire time from ear to ear. Once I was down by her ear, I just decided to finish it off by braiding it normally. 
And then when you put it all together, you're going to want to kind of brush the person's hair back and then pull the braid in and then all the extra hair that you took out for the waterfall, you're just gonna, gonna wanna pull that back like a normal ponytail. And if you have like blonde hair with like highlights, this looks really cool. If you have darker hair, it's harder to tell. But in my opinion, it still looks really cool and it's a cute hairstyle for gymnastics or any other, you know, occasion that you want to do this for. So here's the finished product. As you can see, there's the braided headband in the front. And luckily with Maggie's hair, you can kind of see the different strands of hair that are pulled back into the ponytail. Alright, this next one is pretty simple if you know how to do a French braid. We're just going to do a French braid into a ponytail. So I, instead of kind of doing just like the front half of Sears hair, I did it to like the, like from ear to ear instead. And then I'm dividing that into three sections and I'm going to just French braid it until I get closer to the back of her head where I'm going to put it in a ponytail. If you don't know how to, how to French braid, you're just going to cross each hair over and add in hair every time and then do that to the other side and you're just going to keep adding in hair until you either French braid all the way down or we're going to stop and put it in a ponytail. Once I got to about this point on Sierra's head, I decided to stop my braid. Actually, I braided a little bit extra. You can either stop right after the French braid or braid all the way down and then put it in the ponytail, kind of whatever you want to do. And then I decided to put it into the ponytail from there. I made this ponytail kind of medium and then had it so you could see the French braid and then some of the braid and then it was the ponytail. Here is the finished hairstyle. You can see the pretty French braid in here and then we added a scrunchie to help finish it off. It'd be really cool if you, like, if you add scrunchies, obviously that matches your team colors. And for the last hairstyle, we are going to be doing kind of a, I would describe this as like a collegiate or elite kind of hairstyle. Um, I'm going to be doing three individual French braids, one in the middle and then two on the sides. And then put that in, I guess what I call like the collegiate bun. It's kind of the bun that you see every college gymnast wear. They're pretty easy to do. They're not super hard. So again, I'm going to be doing the whole French braiding process, but just with the middle section of Maggie's hair, and then again on both sides. So I'll show you guys a little bit of clips, but I'm not going to do a whole lot of explaining because I already kind of explained that basically throughout the entire video. After I finished all of the French braids, I just put them in the little elastics, and I'm going to just keep the elastics in. If you want, you can take them out. Next, I'm just going to pull Maggie's hair up and do a pretty high ponytail. If you have really long hair, kind of like I have really long hair, so this type of bun doesn't work well with my hair, but if you have shorter hair or medium length hair, it should work out pretty well and they stay in pretty well. Otherwise, if you have long hair, I would suggest just doing a ponytail or a different type of bun. But as you can see here, I'm just going to do a ponytail and then the last time through, I'm just going to pull it halfway through and that's the bun that a lot of college gymnasts will do. And then to help it stay more in place, we put in a scrunchie, and that is the finished look. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so that way you can come back to the video later and like try out the hairstyles. And also comment down below which hairstyle you like the best, one, two, three, or four. Also, we're getting super, super close to 750,000 subscribers. You guys like should know, like, because like it literally says down there. And we want to get, like, we want to do something special when we get to 750,000 subscribers like we did for 500,000. So maybe, like, a giveaway of sorts or, like, we haven't really thought it out yet. But if you guys, like, want to do that, you guys should help us get there faster by subscribing and telling your friends to subscribe. Also, since it is TC Tuesday, that means there's a new TC2 crew member of the week. So the new TC2 crew member of the week is... If you guys want a chance to be the next TC2 crew member, just hashtag TC2 crew member on a picture of you doing cheer or gymnastics on Instagram. And we will see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.